Girolamo and I am at the Middle East Film Comic Con and you are watching me change. Well, I, I, I think it's going to be absolutely the opposite of... Uh, so the story is all about this fight for the Iron Throne. But if I know anything about really good fiction and really good storytelling and complicated politics, because remember it's very political, it will not be as simple as someone claiming the throne at the end of it. I do not believe. I think that's far too obvious. I think I think it's gonna be much more complicated and I think it will no it will not be anyone that you can say. Oh, who's your money on? Uh, Lord Va Lord Varys. Right, a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> You've been reading your stuff on the internet, you see. Um, okay. he knows, he knows his. Yeah, he knows how to play them. Yeah, but remember when, when, when we did the first season, uh, there was an expectation because we knew that the books were uh, were huge. We knew that. I think in Britain, we weren't aware of the books as much as the Americans were. You know, you know, the Americans were kind of uh, were fans already. I don't think I, I certainly didn't know about the books until I heard about the TV show being yeah. made. Um, and of course, it was a uh, it was a big deal, the production, you could tell, you know, you only had to be there for the first reading of the first three episodes. Right. This huge room and a spiral, these yeah. amazing actors. Right. Uh, that was pretty impressive and, and you knew that there was a lot of dedication and right. heart and soul and a great deal of uh, passion had been put into making this TV show. Right. Um, and then that David and Dan, the creators and writers, had they really had an idea of it and that idea was going to make a very good TV show. I think we were aware of that. Yeah, what we weren't aware of was the fact that it would become so successful and I mean it's bigger than a TV show. It's a phenomenon. It's a cultural phenomenon. Exactly. It's a, you know, you go to Dubai and like it's huge. You go to Brazil, it's huge. Uh, it's, you know, you let alone the countries where you expect TV shows to be right. huge. So, so we didn't know that in the first season. All we knew was that we were going to make a show and hopefully people would like it. Right. Well, I have no idea what it's like for newcomers turning up on the show. Exactly. Because, you know, they know that they're doing yeah, sure. something huge. Yeah. I and mean, we didn't, we were like in the dark about it. We we're like, it's okay, we're just going to do our work and we're going to do the best we can do and that's it. Well, it was always safe. Yeah. But, um, uh, I didn't have many accidents. No. Uh, the hardest thing was when I was working with the Hungarian stunt people. Right. There's one move when I was fighting the Lannisters. Right. Uh, and you imagine those scenes, we were doing it over and over right. and over yeah. again. And there's one move where I had to slide between one of the Lannister guard's that, legs right. yeah. and flip him over. Right. And every time I slid through his legs, I'd never get my head down low enough. Oh, wow. So every time I slid through, I always used to headbutt him with genitals. And, um, and I did that over <laughs> and over and over again. Are you still friends? <laughs> I haven't no. spoken to him since. <laughs> That's great. Who is your favorite character in Game of Thrones, apart from yourself? Oh, Take Arya yourself out Star. Of Arya Star. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's my girl. Yeah. Did you see I her? love her storyline. It's very, very... I love it because it's... She's a great character, but she's a great character because she's not a heroine, even though you so, you really root for her, and you kind of root for her revenge, you can't help yeah. that, but the psychological damage that it's doing makes it a very, very complicated character to her. Since you brought it up, do you see a long future for her on the show, without jinxing it? I don't know, you, I don't, maybe you know, but do you think... Yeah, of course, but you know, I mean... Well, come on, let's put it this way. The Starks are getting fewer and fewer. I can't tell you anything, except for the fact that it's going to be pretty impressive because uh, uh, just seeing those sets is an amazing thing. I mean, so the level of detail, the fact that everything is tangible and real, the fact that uh, it's been lovingly and enthusiastically and passionately put together by a man who I have no idea where he 
get where he gets his energy and enthusiasm from. JJ Abrams yeah. is like, he's a powerhouse. <laughs> Yeah, when I was a kid, I loved it. I was a, I was a huge fan when I was much younger of Spider-Man. He was my favorite. Because uh, I kind of related to Peter Parker. I think everyone does when they're a young teenage boy. Um, but my dark side, because everyone's got one of those, um, was always drawn to the Silver Surfer. I love the Silver Surfer. Something kind of like dark and cosmic. And, the kind of the loneliness and the, yeah, that was, that, I, I found it very tragic, but I, those are my two superheroes.